and young and say yo today i drew a dire wolf uh it's my understanding that a dire wolf is just a big regular wolf from ancient times so basically i'm drawing a wolf who thinks things couldn't get worse so uh i started with uh, again some online research looking at what wolves look like i haven't really drawn wolves before although i do like them so uh, i started by penciling uh, a rough shape and then i go back in with the fine super fine pen and i give him the fur i use that fur technique again but i don't use that on the nose on the nose i use a smoother line and um, he looks a little bit like a rat at first, but it turns out rats and wolves are fairly close looking when you get into their shape. So uh, then I'm going back over with the one here. Uh, I came up with a little thing of him saying that things are really bad. And I go back and firm up the lines on the outside, make sure to shape in here. The little dots on the muzzle, I think are pretty important to making it look real. And then I notice that on all these pictures, wolves have this sort of angle to the mat of their fur, which makes it look like little arches. So there's these little arches pointing at each other. And then um, this is me going back over with the three, popping the lines, doing the outline on really bad. And uh, behind him, there's a little moon, which you'll see later when I do the color. Draw it off, clean up those lines. And this is a dark blue. It looks darker than it dries when I put it on. Um, so I go back after and add a counter color to make it a little darker. But And then make a light kind of dark yellow moon. And then I go in with a very, it's that antique white color by Blick. And then back over it with sort of a tan reddish color because there's a little tinge of red underneath their fur. And then I just take consecutive uh, layers of gray. I think that's probably starting at a 20 or 30% gray. And I move up 10% at a time. And I just sort of fill in the darker spots and create some shape. You can see the muzzle needs to be a little darker. So I'm going to go back and do that with a darker color. And um, hit these lines to kind of shape that fur a little more fill in the nose and this is a I think a 90% it was the last one and then I go in with a uh, another tan color and add a little bit tan right there at the end color in the really and then this is just a dark blue gray that I add some counter lines to and then uh, since it's dark I'm going to do my signature in white uh, corrective ink and uh, 513 nib and there it is thanks for checking it out uh, go to my Etsy site to buy this card or many other and tune in again. Thanks.